of the Atlantic, one over the treacherous Pacific. Roaring into the Oakland airport, she brings to a triumphant finish her 2,400-mile hop from Hawaii after 18 hours in the air. 10,000 cheer the end of the epical flight as the Lady Lindy slides into a perfect landing with two records. The first woman to fly the Pacific and the first person to fly it solo. She receives one of the most tumultuous greetings ever accorded a flyer. Roses to Amelia and the plaudits of the world to a veteran of flights that have shown the way for aviation's progress. It's her most brilliant chapter in a 16-year aviation career. How does it feel to fly both oceans, Miss Earhart? Well, it was very interesting to me to fly in southern waters rather than in the north. On the Atlantic flight, I had ice conditions and general storm. On this flight, really no bad weather at all except a few little rain squalls. I saw the moon and stars most of the night. Of course, in both flights, I was very glad to see land. Both oceans, Miss Earhart. Well, it was very interesting to me to fly in southern waters rather than in the north. On the Atlantic flight, I had ice conditions. 2,400 mile hop from Hawaii after 18 hours in the air. 10,000 cheer the end of the epical flight as the Lady Lindy slides into a perfect landing with two records. The first woman to fly the Pacific and the first person to fly it solo. She receives one of the most tumultuous greetings ever accorded a flyer. of the Atlantic, one over the treacherous Pacific. Roaring into the Oakland airport, she brings to a triumphant finish her... Roses to Amelia and the plaudits of the world to a veteran of flights that have shown the way for aviation's progress. It's her most brilliant chapter in a 16-year aviation career. How does it feel to fly